Good morning, everyone. I'm curious as to how many of you out there have a creative work in progress. I, for one, probably have too many, <laughs> but today I wanted to talk about how having a creative work in progress can be so good for you. It's that one place that you can always rely on uh, visiting to explore. You can explore techniques, materials, ideas. It's a place you can visit to express um, to celebrate. Uh, it's also something you could share the experience with someone. Uh, it's a place where you can be resourceful. It's also a place where I can sometimes come to and find healing. And it can show up in a lot of different uh, ways, whether it's a painting, uh, maybe something that you're building, uh, something you're sculpting. Uh, it could be a writing um, or drawing, uh, maybe some stitch work or a sculpture, uh, and whatever you are drawn to. But the main idea with it is that there is no end game it is truly all about the process, uh, kind of letting it, life take you wherever it takes you through that piece. Uh, work on it whenever the mood strikes. Uh, it's something that you don't want it to be a job. It's just something there. Um, it's always there for you. And the one that's behind me here, this is a one a piece that I've, I've had it for a long time. I keep uh, working on it, changing it, playing around with it. And uh, I'm going to show you kind of a fun way to get a painting started as a work in progress. Uh, this particular one, uh, I created the canvas myself. Uh, it's of course big, you could do a small one, large one, maybe you could roll out some paper on a wall. Again, you know, make it something that's easy and something that you, you know, you can already work with what you have. But, um, and then what I did to start this was I, whenever I would teach classes or if I was working on a project or if the kids were working on something, I hate to see things go to waste. So I would always clean off all of the palettes uh, and any of that leftover paint and then I would take it uh, and put it on another canvas. In this case, it was this larger one. So after a lot of classes and a lot of projects, I just kind of let kept building up on it until I had something that I liked. And what you end up with then is um, really a beautiful starting point. And I didn't worry about the color scheme. I just kind of kept adding to it until I had it all filled up. I let some of the kids uh, from classes clean off their palettes on it, but that's the beauty of it because you start to see um, the art of imperfection and uh, how kind of letting the paint do the work. So this is really a nice way to get a starting point. And then you'll come back in and just continue to add to it. Um, I love to uh, be resourceful with uh, different leftover bits and my daughter loves to make cards. So she made a heart shaped card and I saved her leftover bits that I am now using then as a template, a stencil, um, a mask for different areas on here. And then what's happening with this piece is um, there's lots of layers, uh, lots of stories that are coming to play with this piece. I have no idea where I'm going to end up with it. I've kind of been feeling, you know, trying to do things to celebrate love and putting your heart into everything that you do. So, and she had this lying around. So again, it's just a good work with what you have, um, taking advantage of the opportunities that are in front of you um, by seeing things a little bit differently as different tools and so forth. But this is also a beautiful example of how we are all works in progress and there's always something that maybe we could add or remove or change or learn and uh, to be able to really let loose um, of your creative side in a carefree spot uh, is an internally powerful way to remake life and creativity truly is something that connects each and every one of us in some beautiful ways. So maybe today would be a good day for you too to start your own creative work in progress. And I think you might be surprised where all it takes you.